What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. But basically, I'm going to be spending an entire week in Vancouver and in this video, I'm going to be rating all the places that I eat at in Vancouver, Canada. So let's go and get started. So the first place I'm going to be rating for this video is the Hainanese chicken place. It's actually in a mall right across from where we're staying. So I basically ordered a tom yum soup rice noodle and I personally just really like rice noodles. So let's see how their food is. I am actually so hungry, so I'm really ready to try this. And honestly, I'm hoping it's gonna be good because it's the first meal from Canada. Okay, so it has fish cake, there's tofu, a shrimp, and it's actually really big, and some cabbage. I'm actually gonna go for the soup first. Okay, this place is actually pretty good. It's a little spicier than I thought. For a first meal, I'm pretty satisfied. So the entire meal came with a drink, and it's um, basically just cold iced tea. It's not too sweet and it's not too sour, so I think it's pretty good. The soup itself in the rice noodle is, it's actually pretty like sour, so I kind of like really like that. And the spice I think is at a really good level, so overall I want to give this place a 8 out of 10. Would I come back for it? I would say if I didn't have to go try so many other places here with such limited time, I would. Okay, so I literally just tried Ali's laksa noodles. That's how it looks. As she says, it's very, very, very good. So I tried it, and now I'm bumping up the rating from 8 to a 9.5. Yeah, 9.5 or 9.2 at least. Considering it's like one of those stations at a mall, it's really, really good. Okay, so this is gonna be the second meal in Canada, and this is actually the breakfast in the hotel, and it's complimentary, so it's free. I also got the breakfast that has egg, cheese, and bacon, and then I got green tea, and I'm just gonna put some honey in it. Let's see if it tastes good. The egg is cold. It's actually pretty good, and they actually have quite some variety, and it's like pretty healthy. Complimentary breakfast at the hotel, eight out of 10. So when it comes to a mall, of course, you have to eat the food in the food court. So that's going to be the next meal that I will be rating. And the place that I am trying today is Champion Potato Noodles, which is right behind. I'll show you what I ordered later, but let's try the food. All right, I am ready to eat. So I got the fat lamb noodles. The soup itself is really, really good. The noodles is pretty chewy. For noodles at a food court in a mall, I want to rate this a 8.5 out of 10. This next place that we're gonna eat at is Max Noodle House. This is where one of the places that my parents have been looking forward to the entire time. And a lot of people who knew that we were coming told us that this place is really, really good. So hopefully the food lives up to the expectations because I don't wanna end up rating it a very low rating today. So my mom's noodle already came, so she's already eating it. And this is how small the bowls actually are. So this is how big it is. The wontons are right there. Okay, so after trying the food here and seeing the portions and everything, I want to rate it a solid eight. I think it's pretty good, but not good enough to be any higher than an eight right now out of 10. But I think the portion size is pretty good if you're not somebody who eats a lot. If you are and you want the noodles and stuff, you might want to order two. Otherwise, I think it's pretty good. The first thing we do when we get to a mall is we're getting some drinks and we're going to the A Whole Mango that's like right behind me. So this is gonna be the first place I am going to be rating today for day three. So the drink that I ordered is Mango Daydream. I don't really know exactly what's in there. So this is my drink. It's actually so much bigger than I thought because like their drinks are actually like half the size, like literally like this. So this place markets itself as every cup uses one single fresh high quality mango. Let's see if it's like sweet. I wanna say this drink is actually pretty good. I do taste like very fresh mango. And for the price, I think this was like $7.90 or something like that in Canadian dollars, which means it's probably like, I don't know, five or six in USD. So for the size of this, for a fresh mango drink, I think this is pretty good. I wanna rate this one a nine out of 10. The next place we're gonna rate is actually in the same mall, in the same food court. It's the uh, Chinese, Chinese Bao Zi Master. My mom ordered me an imitation shark fin soup. Anyways, let's just try it out. I'm not gonna lie, the imitation shark fin looks a little bit like rice noodles or something. The taste itself is actually pretty good. There's like chicken in there, mushroom, black fungus, the fake shark fin. Okay, so the soup itself is really thick. It's not too salty and it's like, overall it's a good soup. I'm gonna rate it an eight out of 10. Up next is my favorite, hot pot. 
We didn't know we needed to make a reservation, so we ended up waiting two hours. I tried the pork soup base right now. This pork soup base is pretty good. This is a fried milk, and apparently it comes with a little straw, and you can sip it. I'm going to go way over my 10 rating, and I'm actually going to give this place a 12 out of 10. I know there's a little bit of bias in here because I love Hot Pot. The reason why I give an extra two is because the food actually is really fresh, and also they have really, really good customer service. If you're ever in Vancouver and you want to come here, just make sure that if you're like a big party, you might want to like book a week ahead of time that's what the hostess said because we ended up waiting for two hours which is the reason why they gave us some complimentary food I think but I wouldn't recommend waiting for two hours if you're like very hungry because we just happen to not be very hungry anyways I will see you in my next food place for the next rating so it only makes sense for me to be rating some seafood while I'm at sea so I ordered some seafood and let's see how they taste I got a clam chowder and this prawn panang curry I believe that's what it's called I usually don't even eat rice this is so good okay now I'm gonna move on to the clam chowder I think this is a different style of clam chowder compared to the ones that I used to have but it's really really good because this is red Anyways, I feel like honestly this meal is actually pretty good I was not expecting food with this quality on a ferry boat So I'm going to rate this a 9 out of 10 This curry really is good I was not actually expecting to be getting anything to eat here but this is the other side of the ferry This is Land and Cafe at the Bay and I guess I'm going to be rating the ice cream here I already ate some this is a small, but it's actually pretty big for a small. Okay, the taste is very like, it tastes kind of like heavy whipping cream, so it's like very creamy. And it's very, very smooth. I guess for an ice cream, I can rate it like a 9 out of 10. It's actually a little better than like McDonald's ice cream. You want to rate your ice cream? Mm -hmm. I want to rate my ice cream. I'll give it a 9.8 out of 10. It's so smooth. So this next place that we're going to be rating is a Korean cuisine down near Burnaby and basically they offer Korean barbecue, Korean cuisine and Chinese and Chinese fusion. And I'm going to dip it in my soy uh, sesame oil. Okay, so I've been eating for a long time. I'm very full. The portions are really, really big. It's for six and we're eight people. I honestly think it's like combo for six can honestly be for eight or ten. Especially if you're going to order other stuff. But anyways, I want to rate this place a nine out of ten because of how big the portions are. And honestly, everything tastes pretty good. I will see you in my next location. Okay, guys, this next place that I'm going to be rating today is a Taiwanese milk tea shop that's on the first floor of our hotel. They don't seem like they actually have like milk tea that much, but it's like more like tea. So let's find out how it tastes. Okay, not my best angle, but I'm just gonna do whatever I can here. So I got my drink. I did not get any toppings. Light sugar or like light honey is actually really, really like perfect. It's just perfect. So overall, I think this is very refreshing. I really like the asmanthus is pretty strong and I think it's just me getting like the light honey which is like perfect for me it's very very refreshing and it's perfect for actually today because it's a very hot day so overall for tea I want to rate this place a 9.5 out of 10 so I am back at Crystal Mall and tonight I am actually going to be rating this I don't really know what it's called it's, it's gonna pop up over here after I figure out what it is it's a Chinese I guess like potato starch noodle kind of thing it's a cold dish from happy ice house Let's give it a try and see if it's worth buying. So I taste peanut butter, something salty, something sour, and I don't know what else. It tastes like vinegar, but I kind of really like the taste of it. Ugh, I've never had this before, but this is actually really, really good. I was not expecting it to be like this. You know, I don't actually have to continue eating this to tell you that I want to rate this a 10 out of 10. But keep in mind, this is the first time I've had this, so other places might taste better, it might taste more authentic. But to me, personally, this is definitely worth a 10 out of 10. Excuse the really weird angle, I don't really have space on the table anymore, but I also ordered a fried chicken knee. This one's actually from King Spark Good Food, also in Crystal Mall. So. Oh, it's okay. I personally just really like fried chicken knees, so I have to rate this like a 9.5 out of 10. The reason why it's 9.5 out of 10 is because I don't know. I just feel like it's a 9.5. So now we're actually at the Sea to Sky eatery inside, which is like right on top of a mountain. So we're eating 
lunch on a mountain, but I'm not actually eating anything. All I got is ice matcha latte. I don't know, the color, the color is a little light. And then we also got some chips, basically jalapeno and sea salt and vinegar. So this is basically going to be our lunch. Well, not really, but like a snack. This is very milky. This is so milky. Okay, honestly, not the best matcha. The matcha can be a lot stronger. I'll still finish it because it's all I have, but it tastes more like milk than it tastes like matcha. The fries are okay. The chips, honestly, they're bagged, so they're pretty good. So I'm going to basically just rate this Sea to Sky place a 6 out of 10. Because honestly, it just tastes like milk flavored with a hint of matcha and it's like I can barely even taste the matcha and for me for someone who like really likes matcha this is like a very big point deductor this next place I'm going to be rating is the Richmond night market but since there's so many different food stands in there I'm just going to rate the night market as one whole thing <laughs> Black stinky tofu, which is like a lot stinkier than the one earlier, so I think it'll taste a lot better. This one is so much better, oh my god. Matcha, beer. So I think this butterbeer is actually alcohol free because it actually says 0.0, .0 on the thing, but it does really taste like beer and it's actually really, really good. Okay, so the night market's really, really busy, so I think I'm just going to stop and rate here because this is most likely the last thing I'm going to be eating and drinking tonight here anyways. I'm going to rate the food at the Richmond Night Market in Vancouver a solid 9.5 out of 10. The 0.5 is only because there's a lot of people and the wait time can be a little long, but the food quality and quantity and for the price is really, really good. This next place I'm going to be rating today is Grand Crystal Seafood Restaurant. It's a dim sum place that's in Crystal Mall, right across from where we live. We're only gonna order a couple of dishes and try them out. So let's see if their food is any good. Okay, so basically one of our dishes we canceled because it's still not here. Um, so I think I'm just gonna do the rating now for this place. So first of all, the food itself is like worth a 9 out of 10 because it's actually pretty good. But then there were two mess ups today. And also, because we were also like the first people to come in and the first people to place the order. But then everyone around us has already gotten that dish except for us. And then they also kept like telling us that they added something for us. But then like three people came and they said, they didn't and they would add it for us. So I think that like really deducted my points. I can honestly only give it like a 7.5. I'm gonna be a little cruel for this one because I feel like I've been rating everything really high. So I'm only gonna give this place a 7.5, but do take a note that the food here actually is really good. Last bubble shop of this trip. Ali has been actually talking about it and telling me how good it is. I'm hoping this is gonna really taste good because otherwise, Ali, I am gonna be so disappointed. <laughs> This place actually makes their own boba. It's all handmade. Because the boba is a little sweet, which is also the reason why I needed to get zero sugar. The matcha is really, really strong. I'm actually gonna go off the charts with this. I'm gonna rate this one a 12 out of 10. Besides the drink, I also wanna say like customer service is also just amazing, which is the reason why I wanted to give this place the extra two points. Okay, so honestly, I don't know if we're gonna eat any more later, also because we don't wanna fill ourselves before the flight, especially because I get like motion sickness really bad. This might be the last place that I'm going to be eating or drinking in Canada. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like, comment, and or subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!